So I was always that shy kid in school who never quite fit in. I didn't really like physical education. I didn't like PE class. I was quite the nerd. I was made fun of from my big glasses before. <laughs> I remember when I graduated from college, I started to gain some weight because I started partying and eating fast food and staying up late. That really affected modeling. Photographers say that, you know, I don't look I don't look as good in the, in the photos anymore, like how I look like before in my photos. One day, my aunt, she took me to the supermarket and I was picking out biscuits and snacks and she was like, if you keep eating those kind of food, that's not gonna get you to where you wanna be. And that's when I realized it's more than just exercise, it's also about food. So yeah, that was a big turning point in my life. I started getting really obsessed with my, with my body with my, with how I look like. It wasn't about losing weight anymore. It was about being skinny. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight. I think the lowest, I was like 45 kilos. I would binge eat and then I would gain weight again and then I would hate myself and it was just a vicious cycle. Um, so I realized, I, I, look back that, I, I look back at my journey and I thought, um, why am I doing this? This is not healthy, I have a fitness blog, so I need to turn it around. This is not about being skinny. This is about being healthy. The biggest lesson that I've learned in this journey is that you have to do it for yourself. It's good to have motivation and people inspiring you along the way, but at the end of the day, it's, it's about what makes you happy. It's about finding that balance. So what I want you to do is walk your hands out in front of you nice and slow. Hold it here. To be honest with you, um, when I finish a workout, it's about feeling great about myself. Yeah. <laughs> that carries on for the rest of the day, and that, that's what keeps me going.